Hey everybody, welcome to All-Star Weekend. My name is Jim Parsons. I'm here with thehockeyraiders.com. This is another edition of the THW NHL News and Rumors Rundown. We're going to be talking about a few names that are popping up here this week while the NHL is in Florida for the All-Star Skills Competition and the All-Star Game on Saturday. Uh, but business never sleeps in the NHL, even though it is kind of frowned upon to be doing business over the All-Star Weekend. But let's talk about some of the rumors that are expected to be happening here, uh, maybe some possible trade action that could be going down. Uh, with news that Mark Stone is out indefinitely for the Vegas Golden Knights, the expectation here is that the Golden Knights will probably be a major buyer, a major player in the trade deadline. He hasn't officially been moved to LTIR yet, but if he is, uh, they have over $12 million worth of cap space in which to spend, and they could take big swings on people like Patrick Kane or look for a number of certain replacements that maybe could come in in the uh, absence of Mark Stone. There is a possibility that he is back uh, sometime before the playoffs, so uh, that'll be something that we have to keep in mind here. But yeah, a second surgery has him out indefinitely, and we'll see where this goes for Vegas. They'll probably be big uh, players here. Lots of news out of Montreal that Josh Anderson uh, has garnered some interest from around the league. Teams like Calgary, New Jersey, uh, and others have maybe checked in on him. But the Montreal Canadiens are telling people, unless you make us an offer that is way too good for us to refuse, we are not moving Josh Anderson. We do not want to trade him. We like what he offers. He's on a good value contract. Uh, they don't see a reason to move him. Uh, Calgary is one of the teams that apparently kicked tires here. Bradtree Living expressed some interest as Darren Dreger of TSN. Uh, so they might have to look to a player like James Van Riemsdyk out of Philadelphia. They could be an option. Uh, Calgary is looking for scoring. That is something that we know, and they have acknowledged they are looking for a top six winger. Uh, Jesse Pugliarvi, apparently his time in Edmonton is coming to an end. Frank Cervelli of T Daily Faceoff is saying uh, that he is probably the player who moves to make room on the salary for Kyler Yamamoto when he comes back. Uh, that he'll probably get a fresh start somewhere. He's listed a number of teams, uh, including a bunch of options for cap dumps, and I did an article on the Hockey Writers you can check out with some of the teams that might be of interest here. Uh, but Pugliarvi's probably going to be moved. His $3 million will clear up some of the space that the Oilers need to get everybody onto their roster. So uh, it's unfortunate that he won't probably ever achieve his potential in Edmonton, but it does look like he'll get a shot somewhere else uh, if he does remain in the NHL past this season. Uh, finally, Vladimir Tarasenko has commented on the idea of him being a St. Louis Blue after the All-Star break is over. He was asked uh, how he feels about maybe representing the Blues for the last time at an All-Star game. And he's like, look, I'd think about it. I don't know. I'm paraphrasing here. But only, Tarasen only Tarasenko doesn't know the future of Tarasenko is basically what he says. Vladdy doesn't know Vladdy's future. He'd have to ask the St. Louis Blues. So he is fully expecting that there's going to be a lot of talks surrounding him, that he could be moved. Uh, that Tarasenko may be playing his last few games uh, here in St. Louis. So we'll keep an eye on that one. Now, keep in mind, he does have a lot of trade protection in his contract. He does get to have a lot of say as to where he goes. So we'll see what he chooses. All right, folks, that's going to do it for us today. Don't forget, check out thehockeyraiders.com for everything else. We've got tons of 2023 NHL trade deadline articles up there. Right now, you can keep an eye on it, our trade tracker as well. Uh, almost ready to go here. So uh, don't forget to check them out. We'll talk to you in the next one.